Hi, Sophie Stanbury here, Mum on the Run. As promised, I'm doing another hair tutorial today. So I've just washed my hair and I've just used this hair detox kit, which I've used before and gives you a really great blow dry because it basically cleans your hair completely from roots to ends. And then you put the detox treatment on. Basically, you get this little oil pot and this little um, conditioner pot and you mix half the oil with the conditioner. Then you put it on your roots, massage it in, and then brush it all through your hair and leave it on for 20 minutes and then wash it out. So I've done that this morning, so I'm blow dry ready. And then for your blow dry, step one is just to rough dry your hair. If you don't do this, then when you're blow drying the brush round at the bottom, so you're gonna really burn out your hair and it's gonna take three times the length. So first thing is to rough dry your hair. As you can see, if I left my hair like this, which is what I know lots of people do, I would have really fluffy hair. So it is by no means perfect, my hair. This now needs taming. And as you can see, I'm just gonna point this out because I know you can all see it. I have got terrible roots at the moment around here. So I'm booked in to get my highlights done next week when I've got time. Um, but once you've blow dried it and you've styled it, you can't really see them as much. So. I section the first bit off, pop that into a butterfly clip at the top, and now I'm going to focus on this chunk of hair here. So I'm just going to brush it through gently. You never want to rip your hair when you're brushing it. Um, this is one of Luke Henderson's brushes from his kit, um, but I think as long as the brush has wide combs and isn't too um, Severe, it's quite good for your hair, so a paddle brush is really good. This is like a mini paddle brush. Okay, and then you section that bit into two. And then this is also really key. You've got to have a really good round brush for blow drying. This one has short spikes. This heats up, this bit of metal, and I think it's made of ceramic. So it's really important to have the right brush for blow drying. Then. I wrap my first section of hair around the roller brush and I turn it on the full heat and I just give it a really good blow dry at the roots. Belt for the roller number one. I use these. If you've got really, really thick hair, I might put this into two sections here. So you could do two rollers in here, but I'm going to go with the one roller because my hair's okay to hold one roller. And you can see I'm not doing this absolutely perfectly, but it doesn't matter because the rollers are just going to give it that extra bit of lift at the roots. And then in the final section is the top, so I'm going to do three rollers down the middle. And I'm going to do a slightly bigger roller at the back to give it extra lift. The longer you leave these, the wavier they will be. So I would, if I left them in for like an hour, it would be really good. It would last all, the, all day. If I left them in two hours, it would last day into the evening. If I left them in for three hours, it would be kind of wedding hair. So it would last the whole night. And the further this drops, the better it looks. So in the end, you just have straight hair with loads of bounce, which is also a really, really nice look. So your one hairstyle, can turn into three different hairstyles throughout the day. So that's it, I've now blow dried my hair into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. 
My hair is medium weight, it's not heavy. It used to be heavy about 20 years ago. But um, if your hair is really thick, then what you can do is you can section this bit into two, this bit into two, and maybe do four on the top. Because I actually pulled all the bit up from the back there. But you could put a row there and a row there, and then the row is at the top. So you kind of just need to figure out the weight of your hair. Because the main thing is, is that you don't want to have your rollers being pulled out when you're walking around. So I can actually shake my head and none of them are going to come out. They're all held pretty tightly. Um, so this look, rather than giving you that curly look, which I sometimes do, is going to give you the natural wavy look. This is much more um, of a home blow dry look, whereas the heated rollers are much more of a salon blow dry look. But I actually like this look for um, for the whole day, so it's not quite as finished and polished, but it's still gonna have the big waves and the volume and the flick out at the end with lots of volume through the middle, but without that curl that you get from the heated rollers. So try it out, see which one you prefer. This is obviously takes longer to do because you have to blow dry each section. The heated rollers literally take five minutes to put in, five minutes in, and then five minutes taking it out and styling it. So that's a total of 15 minutes. This one, I tend to leave the rollers in for at least half an hour so that you get a better wave and a better lift in your hair. And if you want to, you can take your hair dryer at the end and blast hot air all over it. And that will just make it a little bit curlier. And I would, I would never put hairspray in at this point. I know a lot of hairdressers do. When I go to the hairdresser, they always spray it at this point and then they put me under a heated dome. I think if you put the hairspray in now, it's really hard to put your fingers through your hair and it's really hard to style it. So I prefer putting the hairspray in right at the end when you've taken the rollers out and you've given your hair time to just settle a bit and then you spray it. So my rollers have now been in for about 20 minutes. Um, well, I've been on my computer checking my emails, but I'm now going to take them out. So I basically take each section out one by one. You want to be careful that you don't rip your hair out in these metal clips. You just want to run your fingers through it and break up the sections. This is this curl will probably stay in now until for about a couple of hours, but I mean, my hair's quite heavy, so it will drop out gradually. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit with my Elna. Spray it underneath. And that's basically what you're going to get with the belt privilege. So you're going to get a really big, bouncy, wavy hair, but not curly. Um, but I mean, it's just a different look, and I think this is a bit more, in a way, a bit more glamorous, a bit more natural. Um, and the heated rollers are a bit more perfect. So after you've had the heated rollers in for about three hours, this is what it's going to look like. And then if you um, leave this for three hours, it's going to look much straighter. So it kind of depends what you're doing and where you're going, but I quite like a bouncy, big full head of hair to run around town in the daytime and then leave the rollers for the evening. But I hope you find that hair tutorial helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to message me on the bottom of the video and if there's anything else that you want to see with hair, then also let me know. I think next week I'm going to do some updos as well. So stay tuned for a lot more to come.